Hello everybody and welcome to Satisfactory 1.0. I'm Drawing Chaos and in today's video we are going over the best locations in the game. And it's going to be devised into three specific parts. Part number one is going to be the best locations to where to start. Whether you're a new player or an elite player. And I'm going to devise that into each starting biome. And some other little biomes that you might not go into right away. But you might want to go into right away. Second part is going to be the best location for power. And it's going to be devised up into each power specific one. So one for coal, one for fuel, and one for uranium. Yeah, that's right. I can't say nuclear property anyway. The third criteria is going to be the best location for a mega base. Now, this is specifically for people that want to go crazy with their builds. But if you want to try it out, it'll be there for you. All notations will be down in the description, so feel free to go to whichever part you feel like you want to go to. But without further ado, let us begin. First things first, let's talk about best starting location if you're going to choose the grassy field. Now, if you're a new player or an old player and you decide to start in the grassy fields, there is one location that works out very well. But as you can see right here, there is plenty of items across the map and a huge area to utilize. So where are we going to build? So in terms of best locations, I highly recommend right here in the center part of it. Now, wherever you spawn, it's kind of hard to figure out where to get to if you've never been on the map before. So if you can find your giant archway, just head west and see if you can find the giant fart rock. Once you find the giant fart rock, then head north. This will lead you into the path. Once you go down the path, you'll see a nice land bridge that goes ahead. What you want to do is you want to turn left up this hill and that'll get you to the perfect spot. So why is this area good? Well, you have a normal note of copper, a normal note of copper. You have impure iron. You have more impure iron. You have more impure iron. You have impure limestone. You have more impure limestone, more a uh, nice pure limestone, and a nice normal note of limestone. Not to mention, you have plenty of space to build on the ground, so you do not need foundations. And the area looks beautiful. Not to mention, you get some local wildlife, and occasionally the moth will fly overhead. This is great to build a starter base before you get into any real production. All right, on to the second one. Best location if you're going to choose the Rocky Desert. So where's your best location over here? Well, that's actually going to be towards the, was it, west side? West side of the map. Look for this giant rock jutting out of the ground, and you'll find the perfect location. The great part about this is you have plenty of iron. You have two really good copper ore that you can utilize and some limestone over here not to mention some more copper and some more limestone so you'll have all the materials you could possibly need starting off now granted there's not going to be a lot of uh what do you call it biomass in this area so you're going to have to trek a little bit over there for some biomass but other than that it gives you plenty of space to work with it looks pretty good and it has easy access to some other things around the map all right, now this is going to be a good one. This is the best location if you're going to choose Northern Forest. Now, the Northern Forest has two really good locations a lot of people choose from, so it's hard to tell you which one is better. I might as well give you both. Spot number one, located here on the map, you're going to see this nice archway that kind of goes across. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other land masses you can choose from. This little spiral piece up here, though this one is going to be very difficult to find. I do highly recommend just searching for iron ore, and that is the best way to find it. Because in this area, you have six pure nodes of iron ore. You have one pure node of copper, and you have four things of limestone. Not to mention... Uh, a bunch of other uh, nice little things around you. Now, this one will be difficult in terms of space, though you will have plenty of biomass to choose from, so that's really good. And the nice thing about it is this is one of the few locations 
that is actually close to uh, Caterium, Quartz, and maybe some Coal, depending on how far you think that is close. <laughs> but there's also a second location. Let me show you that. Now, the secondary location is a little bit easier to find. All you have to do is find this cliffside over here. Uh, I would recommend also searching for iron because you're going to have four pure nodes of iron right next to here. So let's look at the map. You have the four iron. You have two copper as well as some lovely limestone in the area. So you do have access to all that. Not to mention there is some copper nearby, although there is... Wait, yeah, there's Caterium, but... Unfortunately, they got rid of the quartz that was located right down here. Also, this does not give you a lot of space unless you want to build off into the void. The nice thing about this is you can build a foundation going across and utilize a nice big area over here. It's all up to you on how you want to do it, but this is a primo location. All right, and now for this one, I want to go over the best location for if you're choosing the Dune Desert. Now it's time to take a look at the Dune Desert, and I gotta say, you, you, you can't go wrong, really. There is just so much, but I know a good spot. So this, see this giant waterfall? If you can head east from the waterfall, there is a decent spot over here that has everything you need, plus plenty of space. So this location over here gives you a pure copper, pure iron, and a pure limestone. But it also has tons other in the surrounding area. Even coal and sulfur in the nearby vicinity, so you can start getting into tons of different stuff. Now in terms of biomass, not a lot at all, until you get to the oasis over here, which has plenty of trees up north. So this is a great place but you can't go wrong with anywhere over the dune desert as there's so much room to grow. All right, now this is gonna be very interesting. Starting locations that aren't in the main four biomes, all right? Now this location right here, this location is not in a starting biome, though it is my favorite starting location on the entire map. So if we check over here, this is the southwest, west, yeah, rest. Okay, just got to make sure I'm not really good with directions. <laughs> this is the southwest of the map. You have three pure nodes of iron. You have one pure node of copper and you have two pure nodes of limestone. Not to mention it's near a bunch of other stuff when you actually want to get into that area. But it also gives you plenty of flat space to build on because you can build on the water or you can build in the water, it's up to you. Not to mention, plenty of biomass to use in the beginning game before you switch over to coal. Next up, we have power, and there are three main power choices, basically. Besides biomass that could just be torn down and built anywhere, we have coal power, the first type of power that you'll be getting into. Next up, we have fuel power. All right, and this is more of a mid-tier kind of game that everybody gets into. And finally, we have nuclear power or uranium power, depending on if you can't say nuclear right. And it upsets everybody in the comments, but screw them. Now, at this point, you should have access to the map. You should be able to press M and open up your map and be able to follow the locations. If you look up at the top right, you can see the coordinates of anything that I am pointing out. This should let you take one of these stickers, maybe even one for this, Kind of just dr grab it and then place it down wherever you want to go. So maybe I want my power to be right there. And then that way I can just follow the sticker. But first off, the coal spot number uno. That is going to be over here where you have water and you have four different coal nodes. All normal. Coal spot number two. Up in the uh, northwest side, you have four wonderful coal things. This is great for the rocky desert if you start it off. Oh wait, make sure I hold this uh, pretty good so you can actually see the coordinates. Next up is the third spot that might be difficult for some pioneers to get to, but it is located towards the center of the map. Look for these giant pools of water. There's actually a little way that you can walk up over here and make your way all the way up to these pools of water. There are three pure coal nodes up here and giant pools of water to utilize for your wonderful uh, water extractors. 
Honestly, someone will kill me in the comments if I don't mention this area. Located over here at the Nexus, you have four beautiful normal nodes of coal. Not to mention plenty of water and plenty of space. Yeah, this is best for like the northern forest. What about coal for the dune desert? Well, it's actually not that bad. If you look over here, you have a couple options. You have a nice pure node as well as a normal node over here, or you can go for the impure and the impure over there. That's a little easier to get to. But the nice thing about this is that there's plenty of water, not only to build on, but to utilize for your coal plant. Or you can just take this, bring it over there and you're set. One of the most popular places to build fuel generation is going to be over here in the Blue Crater Lake. And the reason for that is the area is rich and filled with da -da -da, crude oil. Not to mention, it has a bunch of coal and sulfur, so you can make compacted coal to make turbo fuel. And a nice caveat to this as well is it has the ability to have geysers put over here and utilizing those with batteries will get you enough power saved up that you can actually jumpstart your factory when you first build it. Now, one of the staples for building fuel generation is going to be up here in the north, in the Spire Coast. And the reason for that is not just because it looks amazing, but because it has some of the most amount of crude oil in one location. Now, the downside is there's not a lot of coal or sulfur nearby, so you can't build this into turbo fuel just yet. But that doesn't mean you can't make enough power using just oil. <laughs> the third and final location for oil generation, <laughs> that kind of rhymes, is over here on the west side of the map where you have a nice four oil wells for crude oil. But you also have one resource well for crude oil as well that they added in for 1.0. Now, in terms of uh, coal and sulfur, there's a little bit that's in, not really close, but you could definitely bring it over here and make some turbo fuel. Not to mention there's plenty of water to use as well as space. Now, when it comes to uranium power, there is only one location on the entire map that should be used for uranium power. And the reason for that is because this place, well, the emphasis on kill it with fire does not begin to imagine of how much I do not. I love and hate this place at the same time. So the reason I say this is uranium power is an end game product. This area is an end game area. But the thing about this area is besides all the creepy crawlies that are over here, it has everything that you could possibly need. It has a impure uranium node. All right. Now you can get the other uranium over here. No problem. But it has every material you need, not to mention all the fauna over here you don't want to deal with. So check this out. You have access to sab ore, limestone, caterium, copper, coal, raw quartz, bauxite, uranium, iron ore, sulfur, nitra, uh, nitrogen gas, crude oil, and even some geysers to get everything up and running. You have everything in one location. And they decided to desaturate this area. So, I mean, why not put a bunch of uranium over here to make it all glowy so it really shines in the darkness? Stay back. Stay back, you feeds. So that gets us to the end of the video where I need to go over our final thing. The third thing I wanted to talk about, and that was a mega base. All right. And I would love to tell you that there's one good location for it, that there's one great place, but there is endless amounts of places to build on the map for a mega base. And here's the reason aesthetics, how you build is going to be what dictates which one you're going to go to. Now, sure, you can go around and you can find a place that looks beautiful and build over there. You can go to a place that has a lot of resources and build over there. You can do both because some of the places have a lot of resources and have, uh, you know, plenty of good places to look. 
But this is what I recommend in terms of a mega base, all right? If you want to, you can build in the center area here and get trains and um, what's the other thing? Drones to build all your stuff in there. A good place to build is on this west side by the, uh, what is it, Gold Coast? And you can actually get trains going across the water to bring everything in real easily, okay? You can have this one up here where we showcase so many different items uh, over here in the Dune Desert. You can build a giant mega base over there, and then you have the nice aesthetics of the waterfall and all that stuff, as well as having a ton of resources. So there is not one amazing spot that's going to beat all. That being said, <laughs> I highly recommend... <laughs> Either this left side over here with this water or this back side over here if you want a open landscape. Because with here, as you can see, there is a ton of water that you can utilize to build all your base. Not to mention it looks gorgeous, nice and blue. You even have the waterfall to build off of. And as you move around, so does the fog as you just saw there. See? So you can kind of play with some of the aesthetics. And as you see over here, you got a ton of space to build whatever you like. Not to mention access to any of the resources that are over here or utilizing trains and or drones. And, you know, you can do some crazy stuff over here. But the last thing I want to say, especially about mega bases, power, whatever, do not let the map dictate your creativity. Just because I say that this is the best place to do it doesn't mean you can't make somewhere else work or somewhere you want to work. I mean, for example, if you look on the map, there is a ton of waterfalls right over here, yet you have coal over here. That doesn't mean you can't bring fuel somewhere over here and build a nice, unique thing with the waterfall or building a map right over the center or building a base right over the center of the map just to utilize like something that's over there use your creativity to your advantage because this game is all about creativity what can you do with the tools that you are given and i think we can do a whole lot because uh, there is a lot available here to go with bonus time bonus time are you ready for this all right there are two locations on the map okay that aren't the best unless you have a different mindset all right do you want a challenge have you played the game so much that you're like you know what i want to do something different well i have an area for you check out the spire coast it looks gorgeous it looks beautiful and one of the things that people complained before 1.0 is you can't build over here as a starting location turns out now you can guess what's over here Iron ore. Guess what else is over here? Close, but copper ore. Your best bet is this one right here. Impure, I know, and high up, but technically you can get to it. <laughs> and limestone. Uh, this one down here is actually impure, but close enough. You could technically bring all those over here. And there you go. You could make a starter base in this location. Now, coal is close enough and oil is close enough so you could actually turn not only a starter base but you could turn this into i kid you not a mega base or future but you could do everything in this one location and it's not too far off not to mention the life cycle of it looks gorgeous this is going into nighttime right now <laughs> the aesthetics are off the charts all right, now on the reverse end, let's say you hate yourself. Let's say you want to challenge yourself to the very extreme. Well, hello to the swamp area, where the desaturation on this is just horrific. But everything over here is just a mood. I mean, you must really, and I mean really want to punish yourself if you want to choose this as a starting location now granted you can't really do that but you can just go south from down here go along the water's edge and it has everything over here that you could possibly want so if i open up my map 
I can see that I have, let's see, I have plenty of iron ore. I have plenty of copper ore. I have plenty of limestone. So I have the three things that I can just start off. Not to mention, there's a little bit of coal. There's a little caterium. And a little bit of raw quartz over here as well. So I could turn this into a starter base. I could turn this into a power plant. And then I could turn this into a mega base all in one location. And I must really hate myself if I want to do that because the aesthetics of it is horrible. It's like a horror show over here. So if you want to, you could totally do it. But I would not recommend it. So somebody do it, please. I want to see a series of somebody just starting over here. Oh, that'd be so fun. You know what? If I if I get a you know what? Let's what's a absurd uh, absurd. If I got 10,000 likes on this video, I'll do it. I'll do it. Take one for the team. You know, go share the video. Tell people to do it. <laughs> I will do it. No cheating either. No cheating. We're going to put in. We're going to have no mods. Not even daytime mod. I will literally do it. Start off with that little like shocker buzzer and try to survive. Oh, yeah. And every creature attacks. No peaceful mode either. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll go hardcore on it. But that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some good locations you like and want to try out. And if you uh, did, you know, give the video a like. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, because I love it all. I answer every single comment, even in the uh, shorts, which uh, you'd be surprised how many comments you get. <laughs> Other than that, that's going to be it. I will see you all in the next video, and I hope you have a pleasant day. Bye-bye. Nailed it.